This is a video tutorial on how to improve the signal strength you have on your Samsung Galaxy S4 for your GPS. The Samsung Galaxy S4 has a flaw in its circuitry where the GPS antenna connects to the circuit board and that it doesn't make a proper connection after a while. So if you're finding that your GPS in your mobile phone is started to just be really poor in its reception or it's just slowly degrading after a while this is probably the same thing that's happened to your Samsung Galaxy S4 and you need to make this simple modification to enhance it. To make this simple modification to fix your GPS obviously you need a Samsung Galaxy S4 you need some small screwdrivers, you won't need all of these but I'll show you which size you need in a second some aluminium foil and some scissors so you can cut this aluminium foil into a couple of squares all right, the first thing you want to do is turn your phone off. Once it's powered off, you'll need to remove the back cover. I remove the battery, remove the SD card and the SIM card and keep them somewhere safe. You'll notice here there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. You will need to use a small Phillips head screwdriver and remove those nine. And just be careful, these screws are little, so you don't want them flying all over the place when you remove them. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm not sure if you need to remove this bit, but I'm doing it anyway. I'll just remove this um, speaker grill part. Let's put that to the side. So now we need to pry apart this back part from the front part essentially so that way we can get underneath all of this plastic here to be able to get to your GPS antenna now to do that I'm using a guitar pick but you could use a flathead screwdriver if you had it but you might end up scratching your bezel on the side there where you need to pry open I'll just show you on this side where the screen is you've got the screen then there's this line that goes along here the screen side of the button is where you just stick a guitar pick or something like that in there and just slowly pry that apart. So now that's pried apart, I've got this part here. I've got the phone with the screen still attached and the speaker sort of microphone assembly there. So the point that we want to look at is this back plastic piece here. You will see these two um, connectors here on your phone. They're the connectors that connect your circuit board connectors over here. They connect them to the GPS antenna which is inside the plastic. Now on my one, if, just having a quick look at it, I can see that it looks almost rusty on those little pins and that's causing a poor contact to these connectors on this side and my poor GPS signals. So to try and fix this I'm just going to buff these a little bit with a flathead screwdriver just to try and knock some of that rust off not too hard though just be nice and gentle it's looking a lot cleaner already now the next step is to put two small pieces of aluminium foil one in each of these square shapes just to cover the contact pins to improve its connectivity onto these two pins here so for that you'll need your tin foil and your scissors and we're going to cut two squares out of this. The size is one and a half centimeters by one centimeter. You can measure that out with a ruler or the easiest way is to just grab your speaker assembly because it is approximately one and a half centimeters long by one centimeters wide on the silver part here. So just get your foil, you don't need all of this, just a little bit. Just place it over the connector like this and just rub your finger over it and that will give you a little template. And you just cut it to your size. Alright, so that's one size there. Alright, simple as that, done. Now I've got two squares, you'll need, need to fold them in a certain way so that way you can make them fit nice and snug on top of these connectors. What you need to do is fold it lengthwise by widthwise by lengthwise by lengthwise. If you use a clear plastic ruler, you'll be able to see it through and be able to get halfway. And pick makes it so much easier just to bend it over. So this one done, let's do the other one. All right, done. So these two little pieces are going to be laid on top of these two pieces here. If you find 
that they're too big. You can give them a bit of a trim just to make them a little bit smaller if you want. And also if when you're folding up the foil you find that you folded it wrong or something like that but it's still the same shape that's still okay because all you're after is basically getting it small enough to be able to fit on top of that contact. So you need to lay these two bits of foil, one here and one there. Make sure the two bits of foil do not touch each other and just push them in just like so. And here's the second one. Whoops, so you don't want them to touch because that will give you no GPS reception. So once you've got them in there nice and snug, you need to reassemble the phone. So do this firstly by just getting this part, turning it so the screen side is up and placing it on top of your um, other part here. So that way your aluminium foil isn't going to fall out of the holes. And then just squeeze it as you walk yourself around until it all clips in. Now we can put this speaker assembly back in. The next step is to screw your nine screws back into your phone and make sure they're done up nice and tight. Now that we've completed doing that, we're going to use a little piece of tape. This will be stuck on the back of your phone, so when you put the case back on, it applies a little bit of extra pressure onto the aluminium foil and the circuit board to lock them nice and snug in place. So I'm just layering two bits of tape on top of each other, just for a little bit of extra thickness. And I'm just trimming the excess off so it can fit onto the phone nice and easy. Alright, so we're just going to stick that over here. And now it's time to reinsert your cards and your battery. Now your back of your phone and just make sure that it all sits together nice and snug especially where you've put that tape over and just double check to make sure you don't have any of this bezel that hasn't clicked back into its original position. So once your phone is booted up, you want to go ahead and install an app called GPS Test. I've already got it installed on there, so it's all good to go. Now, this um, GPS testing app will show you on your screen the satellites that you pick up and the signal strength. Before I did this modification, I was receiving two satellites, and that was it. And the signal strength at the most was 20, but probably around 15 to 20 jumping up and down. So it wasn't enough to get a GPS signal um, fix or anything like that. So let's go outside and see if it has improved. As you can see, it's definitely improved. I'm, I'm getting like seven satellites at the moment and I'm just crouched down on the ground. All right, so that's a quick way that you can spend 15 to 20 minutes fixing the GPS reception on your phone. And now that I've done that, I'll be able to go outside and play Pokemon Go, which would be cool. So hopefully this has helped you out guys, and if it has, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, see yous.